In today's top cryptocurrency news, January 28, 2023, in the first new, Core Scientific files motion to sell over $6 million in Bitmain coupons. Some conditions applied to the coupons make them useless for Core Scientific's business, a court filing shows. In the second new, Sam Bankman Fried seeks to access FTX funds. Sam Bankman Fried lawyers claim he was not involved in previous unauthorized transactions and should have access to company assets. In the third new, Genesis Capital's fall might transform crypto lending, not bury it. Trad FI firms with expertise in risk management may soon fill the void left by bankrupt crypto lenders, a Duke finance professor predicts. In the fourth new, US government T$1.5 T debt interest will be equal 3x Bitcoin market cap in 2023. The US will pay over $1 trillion in debt interest next year, the equivalent of three or more Bitcoin market caps at current prices. In the fifth new, IRS reminds taxpayers of crypto income reporting ahead of 2022 filing. The IRS's recommendation to check, yes, boils down to receiving, earning, transferring or selling cryptocurrencies for any monetary benefit, including mining and staking. In the sixth new, Bitcoin, so bullish, at $23,000 as analyst reveals new BTC price metrics. Market analyst Cole Garner suggests that Bitcoin bulls are in for a treat amid an ongoing BTC price renaissance. In the seventh new, CZ predicts existential implications for anti-crypto traditional finance. While the reluctance of traditional players is a deterrent to crypto's adoption in the short term, CZ argues that the decision might backfire over the next two decades. In the eighth new, White House cryptocurrency roadmap recommends against pension funds. The Biden administration touted its comprehensive framework and encouraged regulators and Congress to tighten the screws on crypto in a new statement. In the ninth new, U.S. prosecutors seek to ban SBF from Signal after alleged witness contact. It's alleged that the former FTX CEO attempted to arrange a constructive relationship with the current general counsel of FTX US, Ryan Miller. In the 10th new, Silvergate suspends dividends to preserve highly liquid balance sheet. January has been a rough month for Silvergate, with the dividend halts coming just a few weeks after it announced a Q4 2022 loss of $1 billion and laid off 200 employees. In the 11th new, hackers take over Azuki's Twitter account, steal over $750,000 in less than 30 minutes. Most of the funds stolen were from a single wallet, with $751,321.80 in USDC drained from the malicious link. In the 12th new, California DMV to digitize car title management system via Tezos. California DMV's Chief Digital Officer, Vijay Gupta, emphasized that the agency is looking to modernize its current systems and bring greater transparency to car title transfers. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.